In the last two lectures, I solved series diode configurations. Now I will explain parallel diode configuration using this example. In this example, we need to determine V0, I1, ID1 and ID2. V0 is the voltage across these two diodes. I1 is the current through this resistance. ID1 is diode current for first diode. ID2 is diode current for this second diode. The first thing we need to do is to find out state of two diodes, state of these two diodes and uh, in case of first diode the direction of current is similar to the direction of arrow in this symbol. So diode D1, diode D1 is on. In case of second diode the direction of current is similar to the direction of arrow. So diode D2 is also on. I will copy this circuit and I will replace the two diodes with their equivalent models. Copy and paste. We are using silicon diode in this circuit. So the equivalent model will have the voltage equal to 0 0.7 volts with this polarity. In the same way, I will replace the second diode with its equivalent model. The second diode is also silicon diode. So I will replace it with the same model plus minus 0 0.7 volts plus minus 0 0.7 volts. So this is what we have after the first step. Now we will move to the second step in which we will determine the value of V0. V0 is simply equal to 0 0.7 volts because V0 is measured across the two diodes. Now we will calculate the current I1. I1 is the current through this resistance and we will use Kirchhoff's voltage law to calculate I1 plus 10 volts minus 0 0.33 I1 minus 0 0.7 volts equal to 0. So I1 is equal to 9.3, 9.3 divided by 0 0.33 and this is equal to 28.18 milliamps. This is the first answer. This is the second answer. Now we will move to calculate ID1, the current through the first diode. I will use Kirchhoff's current law to find out the current ID1 and current ID2. I will modify this circuit to apply Kirchhoff's current law. I will connect this node like this and this node like this. Now I will apply Kirchhoff's current law at this node. I1 is the entering current. ID1 and ID2 are the leaving currents. So we have I1 equal to I1 equal to ID1 plus ID2 ID1 and ID2 are same. So I can write I1 equal to twice of ID1 since ID1 is equal to ID2. We have already calculated value of I1. It is 28.18 milliamps. So ID1 is equal to 28.18 divided by 2 milliamps and this is equal to 14.09 milliamps and this is also equal to ID2. So these are the second and fourth answers that we had to calculate in this problem. I hope you now know how to solve parallel diode configurations. In the next lecture I will solve few more examples on series and parallel series diode configurations. So see you in the next one.